Self-defense, our next guests say your hands are your greatest weapon. Yes, they are. So we have cousins, Jamie and Brian. They founded a self-defense program called Weapon Brand, and they're joining us this morning to give us some tips on how to protect ourselves in different situations. So welcome to the two of you. Thank Glad you. Thanks, Thanks, Joe. Okay, so I want to start out with you, Jamie. Uh, how did you guys get into uh, this business, this line of work? Well, Brian has been doing this kind of stuff his entire life, first with Mar the Marines and then yeah. with the state of Ohio. He's trained over 50,000 law enforcement, police officers, um, parole and corrections officers. So he came to Florida mm -hmm. and wanted to do an event for me and my friends. It was a huge success. Yeah. And we decided to start the business here in Florida. Incredible. Yeah. And you offer different classes and also for different groups, realtors, sure. um, rideshare drivers, because in a lot of the situations, they can be dangerous. Right. So you have tips to help them, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Pro programs for everybody. Okay. Can you, yeah. um, and you're going to help us. And who did you bring here today? <laughs> this is Bob. You brought a friend. <laughs> Bob. This is Bob, who, Bob. Who takes the brunt of our beatings, other than me. <laughs> right, right. Okay. So you're going to give us some tips yeah. Um, yeah, on how sure. we can protect ourselves. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, just for an example, our, our level two, we have defensive, defensive striking. So uh, level one's a lot of um, lecture-based stuff and, and understanding proximity, things like that. Level two is more nitty-gritty, getting into the striking, things like that. So we can show you a few strikes right now actually Please. Yeah. and I, I can actually teach you then then have Jamie beat him up a little bit too okay. so, okay, uh, good. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the very first one is a palm heel strike so this hard part of your palm okay. right here if you're in, in close proximity with somebody and you have to actually uh, do something to escape yeah. this palm heel right here is really effective going into the throat into the chin into the nose into the eye area and what we do is use this hard part almost like a spear so you want to stab instead of slap or yeah. push okay. almost like stab so uh, Jamie you want, you want to try this sure. out yeah let's see Oh! And notice oh. Also, also your back sometimes. Yeah. Uh, back! Back! Also yeah. notice that her hand wraps around, so if she hands that, gets that hand free, yeah. she can actually pull that to hand. To kind of give know, you... Yeah, and know exactly yeah. Where, where to strike for, for okay. accuracy. Okay. Uh, another one's an elbow strike. Okay. You know, a lot of people, um, they forget how hard this bone is right mm -hmm. here, so especially if you keep that hand open, so they're making a fist, covering that up with muscle. Keep oh. that open. Oh. Same thing. We'll grab right here and go straight across, almost like you're sitting in your car seat, grabbing your seat belt. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. You could actually use a little bit of hip engagement, and Jamie could show that too in these uh, in these uh, these sweet <laughs> these sweet shoes. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh. She'll just go straight across there. So yeah. They're pretty effective strikes. The cool thing also we didn't mention about the palm heel strike is if you could see this mm -hmm. when she does this, look at where her fingers go. Okay. And this sometimes is a little, is a little bit gross or, uh, or or brutal they say, but. Putting it into perspective, and then what's happening? If she stops here, her fingers can go straight into those eyes as well. Okay, yeah. So, and we try to teach our people that whole center line. That that's going to be really key. So, do you have a, you have a question? We talked about the doorknob. So right, the doorknob right, right. is when you go for the groin area. Okay. okay. And you grab, twist, and pull, and you let go when you're ready to let go, not when they're ready to right. let go. Yeah. Okay. If Bob had a groin, we would do that. <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah. He doesn't. Okay. So we'll stick with the eyes, throat, chest. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems like you were just trying to create enough time for you to just escape, to right? Absolutely. So it's not that you're necessarily trying to get them on the ground or, or whatever. Right. You just need that moment so you can be free to go and get some help, Absolutely. right? Our whole thing is with, with Weapon Brand, we make you the weapon. And that's not just with your hands. It's also yeah. with believing in what you see, mm. what you feel, avoiding the danger. If you can't, we can teach you how to fight out of it. OK. Yeah. Do you guys want to try a, a palm here? Yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, so, so this, this so way. Open hand, okay. right? open this hand. hard part of your hand right okay, here. Okay. You just, yep. Pull in. Yeah. Drive there you go. Oh, yeah, there you you got go. it. Okay. Get your aggressions out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I love it. How far yeah. is it? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. Okay, elbow elbow right. Right. okay, an elbow? Yeah. Okay, yep. so it was like you went across right. like Almost that. Almost like you're grabbing your seatbelt. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, put some hip in it. Put my hip in it. There you go. Yep. Got you. All right, goodbye. And, and it's important to kind of practice, right? So yeah. that if you sure. are in that situation, you know what to do. Yeah, okay. right? a little muscle memory. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, thanks for, uh, Absolutely. for sharing those tips with yeah. us. All right, and if you want to find out more, you can visit their website, weaponbrand.com.